Sini, apa? Maybe that helps make you feel better. She's got some tangles back here, but I think we can just get those up pretty easily. are super nervous they'll get stiff like that sometimes it can be a sign of aggression but I think it really depends on what other body language is going on at the time and the situation There's like a really blunt cut here. She does have some matte blue yeah, behind this ear. That's gonna have to get shaved out, so. Goldens are really prone to yeast infections and tangles and knots and just having way too much hair for their own good. They just chopped your tail off. <laughs> she might have had some knots in there, but I don't know. Yeah, she has a pretty big knot in here. 
always a 10 when going behind the ears. Come on, look that way. It's okay, Mama. She's just a little nervous about this. So I'm just gonna be quick. Good girl. Good job. still kind of hear that crunching noise so there is a little bit of tangling still in there yep it's okay move your head so i can see about it. make sure the ear is not like this it's like this because if you get the blade caught in the ear leather that's not good Good girl. Yeah. Good job, honey. Okay, that's the easiest part. Um, so we've been using this tool on Goldens now which has been really great at getting out some of the extra undercoat. The bath doesn't take care of necessarily. So. Again, hold the skin taut. Always wanna hold the skin taut, especially when they're kind of flabby up here, because this can get caught in it. This does have blade on the inside. Good girl. Also something about this tool is to not make yourself crazy. If the coat does not want to come out, that just means it's not time yet. So if it's being stubborn, it might be being stubborn because it's not ready to come out yet. You want to face the window? Is that more entertaining? Turn you around in a second. And you want to use short strokes. You don't want to do like straight on long ones, especially in dense areas like this, because you can pull the skin and the hair. I'm just going to turn you around. And now you can look out the window. You can. You can look out the window now. Isn't that cool? So I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know me, Helena. Good girl.
do the nails and then the feet. So we're gonna do the nails first. Cause she seems to be a lot more nervous than Khaleesi, her friend, in the previous video. So one thing at a time might be best for this girl. Okay, so my feet. Her nails are pretty short already, so we're just gonna do the tips. You must do a lot of running or something. You must be very athletic. Very athletic. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see this one. It's okay, it's okay, Mama. It's okay, it's okay. Hi, 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 hi. Just gonna be quick about this. Oh, girl, these are really short. Yes, yes. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting. Wow, these are really short, sweetie. These are short. I gotta check to make sure. It's funny because the pigment's very red, but I did not quick her. It's very pink. It's almost red. We trim up um, double coated. Now I'm going to show you how we try. We're very excited. We're going to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to show you how we trim up double coated breeds' feet. They usually have grinchy looking feet like this. And this will just be a nice, easy tutorial for those new groomers trying to learn how to do something like this. And every groomer is different, there's no right way or wrong way. And I need to do your pads before we do this. Well, I mean, there is a wrong way, um, but I'm gonna show you the, the pretty uh, basic way to do it. Yeah, just gonna do your foot. Yum, 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 yum. I think you would really have to not even try to do it incorrectly, a uh, golden foot. I just call it a golden foot because that's the breed this is mostly done on. So, can I see? Depending on the pet parent, sometimes they don't want these featherings clipped. Um, the featherings here were clipped. She's gotten an outline trimming of sorts um, wherever she was before she came here. So usually, um, you I would remove this, I would push it up just to push it out of my way so I don't accidentally cut it. But usually I'll just clip the hairs like right here. And then just kind of go around very lightly. It's okay. Very, very lightly. Put the foot down. Go around. Just to get the extra stuff. Hi, thank you. See, so now we've got this nice shape. And all we have to do now is get rid of these things on top. And usually what I'll do is I'll check for any tangles or knots in there. She's got some stuff in here. So that's gonna have to come out. So I'll just go in between. If they don't have stuff in here, I won't do this because I, I personally don't like how it looks once you go in between the toes like this. Usually I'll just fluff it up. I'll stick my finger up in here and just fluff it up and then put the foot back down and scissor that way. But since she has some tangles in here, I just go in with my thinning shears. If you're too nervous to do that, you can go in with your clippers and do a 10 and just scoop. So got those out. Good girl. And if she keeps picking her foot up, hey, mama, can you come this way? Can you come back over here? Hi, can I pee? Hi. 
Hi, it's okay. There you go, friend. And I like to come up from this angle instead of coming like this or this way because usually the direction you scissor is Usually you want to scissor in the direction the hair is laying. There, that's what I wanted to say. So if I scissored this way, there would be like a blunt cut here. And it wouldn't look so beautiful. Like see how here I kind of came in this way? There's a little bit of a harsh line. We just got to do our best. Sometimes it's not perfect, that's okay. Good job, that's beautiful. Look at that, a nice golden foot. And if they have long dew claw hairs, I'll just trim that up with my thinning shears, but she does not have that today. Okay, and then we're just gonna do the rest of the feet. Can I see? Okay, mama. Also, again, I mentioned this in Cynthia's video, the overdue golden retriever I did in one of my first videos, um, is that when I'm scissoring, I'm using a very light touch. There's no need to chomp down on your scissors because your scissors, if they are the correct type of scissors or good quality scissors and you're getting them sharpened regularly, they will cut for you. And I did have to learn that the hard way. So just a, a light touch goes it will do the job for you. Good girl. Got some knots in here, maybe some tree sap. It's that time of year. Good job, yeah. Fluff up the toes. Some people like to go in with their comb and do this, one of these, or their slicker brush. See, I don't like going in between the toes because sometimes you'll get this gap. And I don't prefer it. I kind of like the fuller look. Hi. Thank you. Thanks. You're very sweet. Thank you, that was how convenient. How convenient. Can I see? Hi. Okay, wanna go that way? Okay. Okay. Slot those up. Mm -hmm. 
when you're scissoring a golden's foot, be careful of their knuckles because they are there. They're right there. Some people like to do this part with their straight shears and then go in with the thinning. Um, but whatever, whatever works for you. I think this method is safer than going in with the straights or the curved and then cleaning it up. But if you are in that much of a rush and you feel comfortable with it, go for it. just about over this process. Do you have tangles in there? Yeah, you do. Okay, Mama, stay. So strange, Mama. How dare you? You did. How dare you? Look at those feet. Look at those goldeny golden feet. My goodness. but we're just cleaning the ears. She's fine about it. Nothing crazy. Again, I like using cotton pads instead of cotton balls because I feel like cotton balls will just fall apart or they do just fall apart. So this is a little bit, I find this to be helpful. Easier to use. Jeez. Why is it always the left, the right ear? My God, it's always this side. You're gonna have to watch your ears. 
You have to watch that. Because they're dirty. past the ear canal guys just right at the surface kind of like when you're cleaning your own ears it hurts after a point good girl much better much much better much 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 better 